Okay, second review time. And this one's called Chasing the Boogeyman by Richard Chismar. I'm also giving this three stars. So to explain what this book means, sorry, Chasing the Boogeyman. It's, it's a title. It doesn't mean to do it literally. Okay. So, <laughs> he's having too much fun. So this is fiction. And, okay. First, let me explain. I like Richard Chismar's writing. I read both Gwendy's books. The third one's coming out next year. So excited. Anyway. When I saw this, I'm like, ooh, it's a boogeyman. Scary book. Hey, because, you know, he... He's friends with Stephen King. So I started reading it. And I'm like. This sounds like. This looks like it's real. Is this true crime? There's pictures in it. He's talking about a killer. So I look up one of the victims in on Google. And not real. So what blew me away was the fact that. He wrote it like a true crime book, but it's completely fictional. So great. So, in this Chasing the Boogeyman, the main character sends himself, Richard Chismar, as a kid. As a 20-something girl, I should say, when all the murders happened. Um, and it's happening in his, in his hometown. And... Young girls are found dead. Um, stab not stabbed. Uh, you know, I mean, they're found dead, so it's murder. Um, ears cut off. Different ways of killing them. So it's a small town. And of course, they're they don't know what's going on, so they call this serial killer a boogeyman. So like, oh, he's the boogeyman. So what's really interesting is how not only is he writing it as himself, but how he sort of um, into this, like, uh, he's a character of the story, but not really the killer. Like, he lives in the town. He's getting these prank calls. He thinks from the boogeyman. He kind of, he sees the boogeyman because the boogeyman wears a mask so it freaks him out a lot um and then of course when the murders start happening he starts following it and what's really cool is um they never caught him at the end but then in the um epilogue when you want to call it is when they caught him so that whole afterward of where they caught him like 30 years later and then come pull Richard Chismar back to do an interview with him. So once again, really, really cool. I can believe this was an actual true crime story if I didn't know if it was fiction. If I read this and had no idea, I was like, oh my God, did this really happen in Massachusetts? So really, really good story writing. Um, really intense. Uh, all the characters are great. You know, the detective and his friend, the journalist. So... I recommend if you like true crime. Um, it's not very, it's not scary. Like, it's not paranormal like Stephen King. There's not a lot of blood or anything like that. It's just true crime. That's basically what it is. So, um, and the pictures don't show anything gruesome. Really, they don't. They just, they don't even show the bodies. They show the spots where they're found and all, all that kind of stuff in the body, so. All in all, a great read. So, I'm giving this book three stars. And it's called Chasing the Boogeyman by Richard Chismar. And, uh, yeah. I guess he's apparently still chasing the boogeyman. Did you find him yet? No? You're still trying to find him? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Alright. Um, and that's it for me today. Everyone... Hopefully all your weekend went well, and mine's still going on because I'm off tomorrow, so more reading for me to do. Yes. All right. Happy reading. Have a great night, and I'll talk.
Till then, bye.